Hello, today I show you how to use double light Photoshop action and here is some results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 pixels and more for portraits photos and 4000 pixels and more for full body photos. So if you have a photo with too small resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height so I am. Okay, and before your section you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode, and check the RGB color and 8 bit channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options, and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Okay, that's all. Okay, and now how to use action. First, open your image. And one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, you just need to select the photo and go to the layer, view, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. The next step, open the patterns file. For that, go to the edit, press it, Press it manager and press it type select patterns, click load, then go to the load folder and make double click on double light patterns file. Click done. Next step open the action file, for that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder again and make double click on double light Photoshop action file. Okay. Next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use a brush tool, you can use quick selection tool, or magic vent tool, or you can use uh, some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I'm gonna use uh, pen tool. The area is done. And now open the actions panel. If you close the actions panel, go to the window, actions, uh, find action, 
on the action list, open the photo section, open the action, then select the action and click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm little scroll this step. Okay, and when action finished work, you can edit the final composition and you can improve the final results. Now I show you how to make this. Okay, in final composition we have six folders. It's background elements, your object elements, backlight colors, dust folder, 10 color effects and color and contour settings of all image. Let's start from background elements. This folder contains only two layers. Uh, in this folder you can change the background color. Just make double click on background color layer. And now you can change the background color. It's very easy. Also, if you want to show your original background, just hide this background color layer. And now you can see that the original background is visible. Okay, the next layer is a light gradient. You can change the style of this light gradient, but I recommend to use radial style. Also, you can scale this gradient. And you can move this gradient. To move, just make double click and just move. Also, you can change the opacity of this line gradient. And you can duplicate this layer. You can go to the layer, duplicate layer, or you can just use Ctrl plus J case combination. Make double click and now move second layer. Okay, it's so easy to use. And the next uh, folder, it's your object elements folder. And as you can see, all folders in this folder is open it. To close all folders, just click and hold Alt K and close the main your object elements folder. Okay, and when you open this folder again, now you can see that uh, all folders is closed. Okay, and this folder contains three folders, its original object layer plus object backlight, uh, object double light colors, left and right, and object light plus central shadow. Let's start from this folder. This folder contains two backlight layers. If you want to uh, change the brightness and contrast of, uh, of back object lights, just make double click on brightness and contrast adjustment and move the slider of brightness and contrast. Also, if you want to erase some space of maybe back object light one or second player, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, uh, I recommend to use soft round brush, select uh, black color and just paint on layer mask where you want to erase this effect. If you want to show this effect, if you want to make visible, just change the color to white and paint again. Very easy. Okay, and the next layer in this folder, it's your object area layer. You can change the brightness and contrast of this layer. The next folder, it's uh, object double light colors left and right. And this folder contains left light and right light. And if you want to change the left and right uh, light on your object, you just need to change the color of these layers and these layers. 
let's change the left object light uh, color to uh, maybe yellow. And let's change the red light color to dark blue. Okay. And also you can uh, erase some space of left or right light. For that, just select the layer mask and Select brush tool with soft round brush and black color and just paint where you want to erase the right light. Okay. And if you want to make visible this light, just change the color to white and paint again. Okay, and the next folder, it's object light plus center shadow. This folder contains uh, three light paths uh, layers. And very uh, important layer is uh, center of shadow. Just make double click on this layer, select the gradient overlay and just move the center of shadow. Also, if you click on uh, gradient, you can change the opacities of uh, this gradient and you can change the colors of this gradient. It's very easy. Also, you can scale this gradient. Okay, and the next uh, folder it's uh, backlight colors. This folder contains only two layers, left uh, light color and right light color. Let's change the left light color to yellow. And let's change the right light color to dark blue. Okay, nice. Next folder, it's uh, dust folder. This folder contains uh, two layers with uh, dust particles. And the left part of dust must have the uh, left color light and the right part of dust must have the right color light. So let's change the uh, left dust color to yellow also you can change the brightness and contrast of this effect and let's change the right dust color to blue okay and also this folder contains back dust. If you make double click on pattern overlay, you can move the back dust. And also I want to erase uh, some space of dust particles. Select layer mask with brush tool, black color, and just erase this particle and this. Okay, next folder contains 10 color effects. And the last folder, it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder, you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. Also, you can add the color tone to all image.
You can make the black and white composition. You can add the photo filter to all image. Also, you can quickly change the colors of your composition using hue saturation of all image adjustment. And you can add the gradient to all image. Okay, and uh, today I'm gonna show you one more example. Uh, I have pre-made PSD file. Uh, in this file I have the photo and I have pre-made area layer. And just play the action. Actually, I want to show you how to add the background to this position it's also very easy to use okay the action finishes work uh, firstly uh, you can quickly change the colors of your composition using hue saturation adjustment And then open the background elements folder. Select the background color layer. Go to the file, place, and place your background. Okay. And now I uh, want to add the lens per filter. It's done. And also I want to add one of 10 color effects. Okay, I like that. So it's ready. Now you just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.